The stunning headline, the worst blackout in the history of the planet. More than 600 million people across India. Think of it this way. It's as if the entire population of North and Central America combined was thrown into the dark. ABC's Jim Avila answers the question, could it happen here? Shades of the great blackout of 2003, America's largest, knocking 55 million in the Northeast into the dark. But this time, it's twice the population of the United States without power. India, where subways are stopped and no air conditioning in 100 degree weather today. In great supply, frustration and despair. The whole system was at a standstill. That goes on to show how vulnerable we are. And today at the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission's command center, a ripple of uncertainty about how vulnerable this country is. Can something like India happen here? It can't spread all the way to California because the grid is divided in the middle of the nation here. The main difference, say engineers, is America's grid is now monitored more closely than ever, checking for line surges 30 times a second. And since the Northeast 2003 blackout, 16,000 miles of new transmission lines have been added to the grid. Still, some in the Northeast are more than 70 years old. A lot of it is old, there's no question about it. Today's biggest domestic fear, cyber attack on the grid. Recently, the government held a White House level cyber exercise in which the scenario was a terrorist attack that took down the power grid. But through their concern, regulators point out, even in this, the hottest summer on record, Unlike India, which is just now emerging from the dark, America's grid is holding. Jim Avila, ABC News, Washington.